directions. Yeah. Hello and welcome to we match number two for CLG and my silver analysis early, for so it. That's the Today so I actually pressed record when getting into pick band so I didn't have to awkwardly ramble for 20 begun. minutes uh, while waiting for that. So the red side today. I uh, don't okay yes, it does. agree with the yes, Riven ban. Riven so this it puts us in a weird spot I, I like because That's if I were FlyQuest, <laughs> yep, I would leave up the Rumble. Kind of forces us to ban the Rumble unless if we have something to play into it, or we can. One thing I want to see if out, Viper see wants to first pick it, on the CLG ban jersey. something like the Aatrox. Ten years of CLG being an org, founded in 2010 as a League of Legends team by Hotshot GG. Uh huh. It's 2020. That's 10 years, Jat. That is 20. That is it. Shout out everyone who was playing League in 2010. Oh, and The inception of CLG. I heard some woos. You can be louder. I appreciate all of you who've been with us for a decade. It's awesome. So they do first pick yeah, the, the Rumble. Like the set? I like the hover. It's pretty to look at. I don't know why the Lee Sin ban. I don't think Santorin is that good of a Lee Sin player. That's the one I want to see. Senna seems to be the meta, but I, I haven't like what I've seen. I don't like what I've seen from it thus far. It's been <laughs> it's been really very bad. underwhelming oh, in almost every game I've watched of it. I saw one game in EU that was pretty good. The J4, obviously a good pick. We really hard called Rumble a mid laner, but we're seeing him top lane more often than not because of how the matches are sorting out. But Rumble mid is almost unpickable in the LPL because gives us a little bit different engage. Very powerful pick. We saw a little bit of it at Worlds, as you mentioned. It's big time in the LPL. Karthus jungle yep. is something. Apollos, not surprising. They're going to lock in Kench or Brom here. Very limited success. This is the. If not, so those should be our bands. Right now, oh yeah. Well, it's because it is Stixit. He's just in disguise. Uh, yeah. They sent him. They sent. Uh, of course, it's lagging. Of course, just the time to do so. We're a different player, actually. <laughs> no one can tell. He's playing AD carry down there. He's pulling a caps. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah. Can I? Anyway, it I should just switch over to where I'm watching it to YouTube because that tends to be the best. So, give me a second. He's strong as a support. I think yep, I like the Nautilus. Actually be pro viable now we should ban Brom Kench here. Highly biased. Okay. Because the way you fight in lane with Senna plus melee is the melee goes in and you threat through everyone. So you're getting heals and I don't agree with that. <laughs> Not at all. Brom Kench should have been a, should be the ban. So you can almost never get the effectiveness out of your Senna Q. Right. On top of that, Otherwise, like you can do other things. I mean, they just get to choose one of them, unless if you know that Ignar just isn't very good. At like one of those, but Kenj kind of fucked us yesterday. Just the design of the queue, he's gonna be better with me. So, and so we definitely should ban the Kenj. Tank support, who is melee and makes the queue do double duty. So yeah, it really does line up in the current situation that we're in, how the kit interacts. But we're in the second phase of bans right now, with only one support grab here. Modelist, it means CLG can ban supports away from Ignar. His thresh is gone. His signature blitz rank is still up, which he won with yesterday, by the way. So you might see that ban come through as well. You don't Three, you um, off no. POE, but the rumble could easily go mid. Ooh, I wonder what? if neither yeah, the rumble could definitely limit. Kench uh, but I wonder if, nor they, if are they you trying to force it into that? Right. It's one of PoE's best LCS champs and it's one of Crown's best champs of all time. Yep. Not that he's like. that much lately. This is free buff Victor where he doesn't get full mana off of a uh, like but. a mid game upgraded augment. Yeah. Uh, 10.2 is actually even stronger and already uh, the Orin comes The Orin ban. Yeah. I'm kind of glad they banned that against us. Pipe? Now we have to lock in a solo laner. But I appreciate the hovers. 
Um, <laughs> there is a lot of history. I mean, obviously. Which is weird you know, we because we could have blinded Ori if we want to. So that means you don't like the Zoe Oriana matchup, and you were planning to yeah. lock in the Zoe. That's the only reason I can think of, but I still think Brom Kench should have been the right bands because they're gonna lock in one of them here. Another blind pick Zoe as we saw last game. Yeah, one I open kind of because you maybe face the Rumble, but we'll see what Flagos wants to grab, and it's gonna be Rumble mid. Aatrox goes to the top side, so maybe a matchup they saw coming. They said Zoe's comfortable into this. Take that okay, and now Flyquest need their support for Ignar. Yeah, I it's think back to back with Ignar. Ooh, I, I think that Rom would be better here, but Leona is better for Ignar here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if that makes complete sense. Oh man. No, nope. now it's top time for top laner. Blind yeah. Aatrox is I sort of the go-to blind top lane in North America. Probably Camille. Probably Camille. Like the hover. Heavy hover game today. More okay. Than any game I've seen. Yeah. So uh, that's a rumble mid. Aatrox, Leona. We saw last game, and this was actually a counter pick that I don't. Was really early on the, doing. They the doing Leona this feels weird with year, the Apollos. With it, so, uh, uh, was I like the Camille because matchup. I think, I think be Ruin can win that one. Or not, uh, they can get him going, and if they can Zoe, with the rest of the Zoe is solid. Because like the rumble pushing to roam uh, lane, because they Leona they don't really have stuff. anyone that can That's jump in front of lane, that could a down there. But if Wizzy's able to play top, then Ruin wait, are they not gonna swap? Right, is it well, just a spectator bug? Down, no more top to be had, but these are the matchups. What we expect to see as okay, just in. a spectator don't bug. Don't worry about where you're seeing Leona and Aphelios. They're gonna be played at the appropriate spots. It's a it's a HUD thing. Don't worry about it. All appropriate stuff here. So, as time picks down, final comments from the coaches. Final thoughts. Here's how we play the game. Here's the lanes to play about. Here's the early game pressure. Here's the late game plan. Time for handshakes, and off they go. Let's see who can pick this one up. Looking forward to seeing these two teams play, actually. So, something that I find interesting about these two teams is a lot of the ways that they will win is through teamwork rather than thinking, hey, Here's an individual who's really gonna hyper carry. Like when FlyQuest has been good, it was the like Santorin working with the team, like teamwork story going through. And likewise, like when COG was good last split, you were maybe saying it's Wiggly, maybe saying it's Ruin, but overall it was very much around teamwork. So based on preseason power. <coughs> overall games, the draft. Uh, I had COG uh, at fourth and FlyQuest <laughs> at seventh. But there's a lot of variation between that. It's I'm thinking like FlyQuest on their best day could just be better than COG, right? Because it's interesting. Both have good teamwork. If things go well, we can get some decent picks. It could be very good for them, which is just why I'm interested. Feels in the like this is a four-one comp. They kind of both win the same way. Because I, I think our comp, their comp is much go. better at the team fighting. They off and if, especially if Viper can get decent Those flanks. Uh, the Rumble nuke. The, Leona's just good team fighter, and so is Apollos. So, I like looking at a 4-1 for us with Ruin off in, in a side lane, doing his own thing, and then... They, they were in the wrong order they didn't when really they joined the so lobby. It's if, we can, if we can play it well, and you know, our, our comp is good. Can't account for player error thing. But I I like having ruin on a more aggressive That's why you get it right almost every time. pick yeah. like oh well. a Camille oh, rather than, than, right. than the Orn even though I think Orn is stronger in the meta I don't think it suits ruin very well and well, we clearly had no idea how to build around it. Gonna have Gabby sit by with Song for an interview. Thank you so much, Freak. I do have Song here. You are new to the organization, so I wanted to get a couple quick thoughts from you. First of all, mm. Crown also new, but some are thinking about the synergy that you and he may have. So what do you make of his addition to this team? Um, yeah, I never worked with We'll have to see year, how things go. When I, talk with Reed, I, I mean, the really Jarvan does better in the mid game. We have a like, similar strategy or the game knowledge over there, so we are really love and, and help each Crown other. Crown in the early levels did extremely well the other day. Also, Stixay seemed really excited about the addition of Smoothie. So, thoughts on the bot lane synergy that can come from this? Yeah, Smoothie is kind of like 
very good at the mechanics and play aggressive. I was yeah. the support. And then missed the stun, but still won the trade. Shipped him off right some now, minions. And, uh, even last year, I wanted to work with uh, somebody because I love the she style and the game part of the um, plans. So, the la yeah, I also really love like, playing with the uh, somebody too. Well, thank you so much, Song, and we're back to the game. Thank you very much, Gabby. Yeah, I'm hyped that Seals did as well. Uh, they were a playoff team for me coming into spring. That was kind of where I put them. I thought that this would be a good looking lineup for the squad. And uh, we'll see if they can pick up their first win here against FlyQuest today. Especially because of the history of CLG. Like the teams that have been around even pre-LCS, you mentioned the 10 Ooh, missing the cannon, that that's... One of the original bad. members of the league nearly got relegated that one time. They've had uh, their ups and downs. They've won okay. two LCS titles. They have banners hanging Shit. right here. Early gank though on Crown, gets flash. Flash, double flash, follow Crown, goes for one up, but yep. cannot get away. I don't play blood, too far forward without ball. vision. But he's what the down. fuck are we doing? That is not Minnesota style. A double kill for Centauri. What? That what the actual fuck was that? By I'll give you the first death. Sure, Crown, Let, to Crown outplay, played too far no forward without vision. Was gonna work into a full health Rexi and Rumble. Nope. Big overreach there to make it go from bad to worse. So first off. Good gank from Santorin. You're expecting him to go for Scuttle Crab. That's why Crown is trying to step up. Scuttle Crab spawns. It's not there. What I think happened in comms here is Ruin says, I'm here, and Smoothie says, I'm coming through River. And Wigby doesn't want them to get away. That's what he was likely thinking. Doesn't make it right, and nope. he ends up dying. Three seconds off. Squad was not there for the follow up. Instant turnaround. And that is two quick kills. 1,300 gold in the early game. And they got to lick their wounds. Now, Wigby is up a camp. He managed to take an extra scuttle over here, so he's got, at least got some farm. But it's going to be a long road back up. Oh, yeah. Uh, scuttle Crab, the one camp whose experience wasn't changed in the offseason. So, <sighs> so that is map, a, an absolute really, garbage start. Uh, get a lead here. With it was double long poorly played by Crown to be that far forward without vision. I know he knew it. He had a jungler nearby, but he's still double too far forward. Not really playing to the side his jungler okay. was on. Maybe invade and take some camps away. Right now, though, yeah. Centaur just on the farm game. Crown pushed around on PoE. They're pretty close in farm here as well as the rumble pushes up. Worth noting that at least the gold got onto Santorin, who is easily this team's worst player. And he's not going to be able to really carry from the jungle. Uh, it would have been on PoE, probably. Would have been very fucked. Who definitely does the math. But we can so recover. Last year, he was one of the first junglers to highly prioritize Krugs. Because back then, Krugs gave about twice as much experience as other major jungle camps. Now, relatively, oh, Rob bot is lane's playing well. Yeah. He's got and a decent CS lead. Takes a long time to optimize that in his path, so he's gonna do it right away. Top so lane has a CS lead, mid lane's even, jungle has a CS lead. The map, I think it, we have CS leads, area. we just so he's fully bought absolutely to to royally this. fucked he's up there. Walk over ward here, and technically COG would be here for a surprise game. Wiggly has snuck down to this part of the That's map, a good use of the alcove. Actually, no Santorin's nearby, he could forward him a second ago. His situation is known, and Around waiting, uh, pulls down uh, and if you can back off, that'd be great. Good, good, good communication to tell that Rumble's Rumble roaming yep, down <coughs> and need to back <coughs> off. So that's very well done. No gank actually happened. Yeah, but he can easily just go Except, for the Drake. Yeah, that's dragon. But that are going to be on a reset and uses that the early deaths. That early ocean break. That's all this that's pretty much a result of, of that. Early game gank, but still a good start for Centaur's also a player that pretty much always has the highest vision score of all junglers in the game he's in. Over the league he's in. He often out vision scores supports in his games as well. Early sweeper got rid of that ward uh, and <laughs> kind of for, you know forced the bot lane back off the recall, made a very easy ocean straight grab, so he's he's out ganking, he's arguably out farming. And he's got the global objective here as well. And as long as we're talking about junglers, yeah, I also it's find it interesting when so junglers play against their former. What can we really do here besides just scale up for now? Maybe start looking around to prep the Rift Herald, but. 
I think that's part I of don't why know both if those there's were drawn towards the mid lane. much benefit to, to that, it, but, I, I also but wonder, like, the smart of Crown to be playing crown, off a little bit kind of always uh, in up order to, like, because he doesn't have flash, he can just about skipping over scuttle crab and lose there. Yeah. Yes, it happened four and a half minutes ago, but it's still... Bot lane's playing very well. Smart. All of this is just snowballing because of that. Crown being too too far forward without the vision to be able to do so. Yeah, because Wiggly is level six, Santorin was unable to do that fight. And also, because the bottom lane kind of prioritized getting push and a plate on the turret, they didn't go in to help Santorin with his jungle. I think that actually is a little bit of a missed opportunity, because one plate versus stealing a blue and a gromp for your jungler, I think the blue and the gromp would have been more valuable for the overall team. Yeah, definitely agree. And we'll see if that gets cleaned up over time, slowly but surely, especially with the plate being worth less gold. But even if it was 160, I think it would still take the blue steel. Yeah. But we get to see top side now being attacked by FlyQuest. They've moved Wild Turtle and Ignar over to the side of the map, off of a recall. Off some items coming in. And they're going to have to be able to grab this one very early on. They cash in. You know, he's got a gold off the plates here. If you're uh, they, and a half gold for FlyQuest did what I was thinking Herald, that we should do. Now they're they roaming Ignar up top. They're doing weird lane assignments. I mean, well, I mean it's two minutes oh, no, until okay, second, Dragon. Down but I don't like. We should. We shouldn't put our bot lane up top. Because we're going to lose a Dragon Rubble if we do that. But Rebel's one of the very best 1v2s anyway, as 6A tries to bring in Smoothie, but yeah, Q hits only to a minion. Viper's gonna be careful, though, like of course we... he is. 1v4-ish. But right now, keeping the wave at arm's reach is not gonna get dope. I, I don't like the bringing bot lane up top. Thinking about the way this game is playing out, I, I'm kind of thinking we're gonna see much more of this That doesn't feel like it was a good... Uh, it doesn't feel like a good move at all. Either bring them mid or keep them bot, but keep them near and quick, and the dragon because that's your most valuable. The in the game. So that's your most powerful lane. Are be maybe even shorter now with the increased uh, multi objectives. Right. Yeah. As soon as the uh, the, the bonus wow. will drop off, which is much really missed into the game. It's eight minutes. Yeah. Right. right. Just feels be, like be we've already the rolled over. And the bottom side at all points in time. I like FlyQuest here, and this is I, I want to kind of tell some more history. Because Sealage was one of the first teams that would insta swap their dual lane the second fortification drop. They would yes. they would be up towards recall or AD carry top side and three v one a turret and get first turret gold as a major objective. They were one of the first teams to make that play, and then it swept the lead. Black was one of the first teams to say, you know what? At eight minutes, duo mid yeah. pressure Harold and Drakes. That's the new meta call. That's the state we're in in 2020. Yeah, I feel I like smart. we I don't we'll quite understand worldwide. I think it's the correct way. Like lane the assignments, the meta lane assignments right now. And, and kind of getting back to this game, like we don't play around the dragon uh, enough, which control. dragons are kind of everything in this the meta. that Rift Herald played out, but more so the way that CLG didn't counter it. So, like, looking at the minimap, you can see they had all of this vision set up to potentially dive the bottom lane and just didn't do it. They didn't see that Viper would be in kill position, but they invested the wards. They invested about three people over there and just got nothing. Whereas Flyquist with the Rift Herald broke first turret and got a second charge up. So that's just making that lead even bigger. Yep, Feel the open they can find some mid game right now because it's not happening just yet. As we have a 2,000 gold difference cashed in from oh. all the turrets. It's right, five seconds still right dragging. Like we, we have absolutely no vision control in the turret. river. So really, FlyQuest holds we're all the cards here. So it has to force something. We're losing to make something top happen. tower. We're not no, getting right now. Could be really out. anything. Okay, now we're starting to get something. Ruin just being a man. Can we get two? Alright, we got two, and we're just gonna lose the fight. Yep. And they should grab that kill. Crown is gonna drop. And fly with get a two so for two, two for two. And yeah, that's actually okay for COG based on the map position that they were in. 
That's a situation wasn't, where FlyQuest actually should have been out of kill range. Was not great for us. We, our, our engages just feel so out of sync. It, it's not smooth and cohesive. Because right there, Wiggly could have... I don't know if Wiggly had flash there. But he could have, he could flash to right away knock him up, and then we could have killed very quickly, and then all piled on elsewhere. But it it was just very disconnected and sloppy fight. Yeah, Wiggly had flash, but he didn't use it to engage. Which Looking overall at this and Stixay game, did like no line, damage in that cloud. fight. FlyQuest needed to be the team with the control. Mid lane push first. You've got the solo so. Drake's attempt here for Sandthorn. First two Drakes are very squishy. Easy pick up here. Can any jungler really in mid game control this? No problem at all. Shuttle gives a bit of extra damage. There's the fight. There's the pickup. And we're going to Mountain Rift. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good first bit so. of the game by FlyQuest. I don't really know what we can do from here. We're out of control of this game. We can use Zoe to try and get some pegs, create pockets of vision. Because I don't trust us winning a team fight. Well, two drinks to go until FlyQuest can get their global shield. If they can make that one happen in the next 10 minutes. Counter Logic Gaming. Plates have just now dropped. And they get the first <sighs> push right now, but have to still push back at 1200 gold deficit. Alright. Looking around the top side, looking around the mid side, quickly push it in to get rid of some wards. Good job creating a pocket of vision there. The I like it. Mountain Rift to go for Stixay. And can we counter engage? Can we keep Sticks A alive? No, we can't. Why is Crown not over there? And we. What the hell? No answer for Counter Logic Gaming. They melted them with that fight. Love Ignar with the max range or close to max range alt over the wall before the blast cone actually. So. You're often not thinking that Elite So what was Stixie doing there? The Down the mountain rift. You can see some inroads are being made, right? They're trying to take over the side of the map. Mountain so you can see some inroads. First mid lane push right now, but have to Why is Stixie so far away from the team? Where does he, why does he go up that way? And they get the first mid lane push right now, but have to still push back at 1200 gold. Is he Around the top side, look around the mid side. Is he going? To he's not the... headed top. He's just kind of chilling right the there. Made, right? They're trying to take over the side of the map. Mountain Rift. To go for six, Whoop, they're going to find the stun. A lot of layered CC. Going to knock down the center. Gets a quick heal. Does not get the ulti in time. Ignar grabs the first kill. Where they're yeah. being afraid. Rumble's over top now. With yeah. Range. Just... Perfectly so. During EQ. Okay. Oh, uh, that just opens up everything for them. It means they're going to be able to get this top turret. It means they're going to be able to get second rift and really take over the game. Really, really are. Second hail going to be theirs as well. Plenty of time. No issue at all in losing this one. Oh, just oh crown. Woo! Crown. On. Crown. Centaur. We shouldn't Ooh. need no miracle plays like that to use it on the fight earlier. give us a fighting Crown's, chance. That, that play basically saves mid turret. We have yeah, a better player in every single role. Perfectly worth it. We shouldn't be Good play, crown. just, just getting bodied like the this. They shortened the timer that was on the map, by the way, in the last couple of months, which is, I think, good for the watchability of this game. Yeah, watch this. So 6A is sitting on a ward while COG is clearing. And 6A, he knows the way is crashing, so he wants to get there. Boom. Dead center stun. Unable to get Santorn off of him. And even, and also, can't quite get that final bit of the center ultimate up to get the shield. What a great equalizer as well. Against the wall, so you can't you can't move into the wall to get out nope. of it. Uh, there was a game earlier where right. the Rumble Alts kept giving a little bit of space next to walls. Yeah. I like it when Rumble Alts don't do that. So good job by POE aiming that vector spell properly. And good job. Three for zero in the gold lead. 
three and a half thousand. We're two minutes away from the third break of the game. Mountain gonna it doesn't feel like there's a world where well, we can have team fight them, so we just have to try and get picks. They are playing Our team fighting really just seems awful. It so seems so disconnected. Yeah, I had some conversations about FlyQuest before the season, and well, no one was really willing to all in on FlyQuest and say, yeah, they definitely got it. It, it was a little surprising to go back and say, well, wait a minute, this team was, was top four in sprints of 2019. Like, it's easy to remember the ninth place of Summer Split with their final game being losing to Echo Fox, who was at the time, I think, like, 3-14. and 14. Yeah. And just this really sour note to, to end the year before regional qualifier where they also lost in the first round. But they had reached highs. And so Bruin still has a lead, well, but we're down like everywhere else. Well, and POE that has was aggressive, and I like it. So, so far, it looks like the right situation, uh, and it's going well for FlyQuest. You take him, uh, you know, I guess Crown is about even. That's, a, that's at least a third place team, and, and you know, maybe, maybe higher. So, uh, and everybody else is, is pretty far behind. Good look, and I'm happy for FlyQuest. I'm happy to see him kind of right now sort of near the top of the LCS, as far as I can tell. They are very favored here in this game. Um, kind of counting down the minutes until no, we get their soul. What a dead. play! Ignar is always ready to go! And you have for number two as well. Is the back well, Crown is just going to too far well. forward without vision. Do no and they're punishing it over yeah, and over and again. Ignar's Leona is definitely impressive. Yeah. I think he's a lot of competition. He's a very he's vulnerable champion. Deal with all the and has. But also, he's playing like, like they need to he's freaking Akali or something. Or Echo. Really, really He's playing Zoe, he, he has to play safer than that. Yeah. If you think all the way back to 2017 world, like he's right up against that bush with no vision. In and no idea where anyone is so much like right before Dragon. Viper's Ribbon, you could see Ignar's Leona as, hey, this is a champion that this player is just really special at. So let's give it to him in any situation we can. And here comes Drake number three, set up for a 23-30 Mountain Soul, which, good luck getting Zoe poked through that. Uh, it's going to look really good for them as time goes on. FlyQuest need to take on the pressure, take down the kills, take down the turrets. All three outers gone already. And we still wait to find CLG's opening. So they've got engaged tools, right? They've got yeah. Camille, Jarvan, and Nautil to start fights out. They've got Zoe for poke. The tools are there, but they're just not finding the situation. Yeah, definitely not. And the further you fall behind, the harder it is to find the right fights with your engaged tools. They'll really need Smoothie to get stone plate before he's able to do any type of real engaging. Otherwise, he's just going to blow up uh, basically instantly. COG also hasn't been able to get side lane advantages with the Camille. It's meant to be this counter pick against Viper, but really just they've never been able to get the 2v2s going because super early on into the game, we've been, the mid lane for the most part, neutralizing advantage. Viper. You know, threatening roam between top and bottom. But look at this Santorin game gold leader only one level behind his soul laners which is rare yeah, and now so much of the gold the is on, really showing up on santorin yep. good farm again if, if you can take <coughs> but we're so far farm, behind you can equal the old season in gold income just so from standing rare. gold yeah, for, for the most part anyway, good job to santorin doing a good job and now where's the leona all just watching yeah. fly from the sky crown uh, learning yeah, from right, his mistake that hey, I don't have vision of them. They're playing, so I shouldn't walk right into them. Play too far forward. He played back like he should. Okay, creating a good pocket of vision here. They have no reason to walk down that way. But oh, can we get it? Oh, that's a good engage. Do we have any damage to? Follow it up, and Wild Turtle already has a kill. Okay, we got one. We got one for two. Maybe we can get a set. Nope, not a chance. <coughs> our, our damage, our, our damage layering is just so slow. Pe people just don't blow up. Because when he gets jumped on. He really just gets to auto attack until he dies. Yeah. Uh, and there was no good peel that you could see. Because they don't have peel. We got, we got a good engage. It was just turtle. Everybody inside that engage should just blow up, but it's our damage layering is so slow. It's a great engage right onto wild turtle. Like, 
with his own Camille ulti, but it's just too little too late in terms of the overall game state. All right. from we're well. just so Again, slow so about dealing our damage. Did plenty of damage, even though he didn't get any kills, I'm pretty sure he was a uh, top two damage chart for that fight. The ULG, even when they try to make the plays, and you know, good for them to try. They just cannot quite get enough out of it. Some of that is, of course, the gold team. Yeah, and one minute, 50 seconds until a potential mountain soul. And this isn't just a today thing, yesterday as well. A lot of discussions over all of our damage lagging was just so slow, so people and lived with I'm small amounts of health. They had chances to react and, the fact that I, and outplay, I and they did every single good. time. But specifically, even better against people that kind of have to all in you. And I'm seeing this CLG game, like the Camille Jarvin Nautilus, when they fight, they fight. They yeah. go all the way in. And having these big shields that are going to be existing on all of FlyQuest, if they get this Mountain oh. Soul... Dragon's up in a minute. Like a we have to get some vision yeah, around that fight around. Really well. we, we can't let them have it. Like it's pretty like much over if we do. Because it just gives them an advantage I think it is also good where we can't burst them down quick combat. enough for so it to matter and they'll just kill us. You eight later, you got another shield to put more health on top. So it's essentially also health regen. Mm -hmm. uh, it is both those stats. It is good against almost all offensive comps. Yeah. Uh, but I would say any like pure like DPS over time comp, where it's you know 300 yes. DPS per champion. Okay, that's less important. That's when Ocean maybe matters more because the fights are longer. Yeah, that's about the distinction. Both Ocean and, and are we distinct. have the no vision in this river. Damage, like every single fucking time Dragon time, spawns this game. Why do we ignore time. Dragons so much? Is, sleep? is there follow through? No. Not find the way through that one though there's war over the wall mountain rift can help ruin of course i didn't really mention that but there's more wall to shut off of cod doesn't have that many ways into this buff right now actually i think but ignar finds a stun as well but fancy fail is on top i think he could find a stun because of fancy fail but tried to anyway might have jumped through the fog but this great that's a nice little a chunk very massive shield here comes cod more but Aphelio zones them off with the turret Gets the gravitum root now as well. Second turn comes I mean, pretty soon, but they're already focused to get down. We need Rune to TP in. Yep. Here as well. here comes the it, yeah, good engage. The Wiggly. Well, okay. We got two. Well, we got we got the one. We got the 80 carry. Wiggly has to steal this. Why are we, I hate that we have to rely on miracle plays. Except he can't. They're zoning him too well. And that's Mountain Soul and probably the game. Oh man. Great flank by Ignar. Why we and Santorin. We're just ignoring dragons. Watch this, watch this. Feels like so everyone is like this was like our first attempt. Look where Turtle is. He's just getting destroyed by Jarvin Camille. Because everyone else was diving on the flank. So almost perfect for FlyQuest. The net is, uh, and Crown another one just died instantly. Mountain, Crown so has not fight. done really I'm anything in team fights. It is, it is. Short legs, a little humorous here. Poor guy. So. <laughs> four, though, and we're gonna keep it on going. <laughs> four thousand. I don't. I don't know a way back into this game for us. You know it's okay. If such a massive you don't advantage. All the time. Yeah, you said it was a little humorous. That's a, it's a bone. It's a bone joke, Dad. Uh, I'm subtle. Medic would have gotten it. I don't know. Where's my EU casters at? Can we get live for EU casters? They're good Do we... Too, right? All right, like, that joke we can rely on the Senna scaling, <laughs> but <laughs> I haven't we're seen that work CF yet. TSM had Senna go to 60 minutes you know in the game. The the All right. And the scaling yeah, wasn't enough. Yeah, thank you. That's absolutely right. Power of Evil, our best mid laner from Germany. Okay, so Wild Turtle pushing it up. Ready to go. FlyQuest in absolute control right now. Though an eight kill lead, CLG have tied their record for kills in a game, by the way, this split. Oh, man. Yeah, it was so strange. When I saw they only had four kills in that game against Vinatos yesterday, despite them basically engaging every fight, it was pretty shocking. They just haven't been able yeah. to get those last hits in these fights. They've been just a little slow. Well, it's like they're not, looks like we're probably going to get engaged on die. Oh, oh, be engaged oh, on Power of Evil. One, look at the damage out, but Turtle's oh. going to be gone. The Wild turtle. Look like. It looks like ruin going down, but can they get POE? A single hit would have nope. killed them. The mountain's so safe. People are just gonna live with one HP. Again, 
We're not peeling for any carry, and we're just gonna get bodied this over and over again. <laughs> He's initiating all of these fights, like they're just jumping on him, and it's 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 technically working for FlyQuest because COD dives so far into Rumble uh, alt follow up, but man, it's it's turning into a bit of a rough. No vision on Somebody objectives at all this game. They're just gonna take this. We're not going to have any idea about it, because our vision control is absolute shit. No vision on objectives whatsoever. Still... Pretty impressed by what we've so seen we need so far. Uh, to work on getting vision around things. Because all we've done is create these kind of small, <laughs> useless <laughs> pockets of vision. Is just off up else, but look at that yeah. just burning and burning as keeps him Why did Smoothie just straight up run away there? He could have autoed Viper. Thrown down a slow something to help out his AD carry, but no, he's yeah. three quarters health and just kind of hides. Okay. Speaking of not doing okay though, goodbye to Ruin. Yeah, he's he's dead. The, the play I play is Ruin is dead. Yeah. He's gonna do some damage, but he's dead. He holds and he's dead. Wild Turtle gets vengeance. There it is. That's one of those. He's super dead. Yeah. Like dead where you say it and maybe he'll get out. Like this is not a wrong. This is a super dead. Nothing you can do with this. Thing. Lose that tower, probably that inhibitor. Oh, he's sleeping. Because it's 1v5. I can't really fall through on that one. They'd probably kill him for it. Oh man, this. This is. I don't like what to see this. What is this? You don't like to see it? Like. The jungler who's are those your missing off pink? on the bottom side. Kind of. What the <laughs> hell are we You're doing? We're trying to create pressure on the other side because you don't think you can defend the We're just. Anyway. They're just going to take our so nexus while we do jack shit. But like. Get the turret. He didn't even get Grom. Like he's just. Yeah. Okay, they're backing off. Like, so I guess right, maybe we get turret out of yeah, this. I mean, but we're down the nearly 10k gold, will? so it doesn't really maybe. matter. No, he no, won't. He's not. Yeah. Uh, like imagine that was. We, that was crown, though, right? like, if it was we haven't had vision around any objective all game. We've just seeded all of them. They have good plays, so these are all situations where you have to take bad choices. That's just how being behind the League of Legends works. Yeah. Uh, but still, just a, a lot to clean up for COG going into next week. Right, we'll see if they can do it. As we mentioned, it's, it's and we heard uh, the analysts talk about it as well. I think it was Scrum. Uh, yeah. Take the long shot here, right? Championship points are gone this season. So it's go to MSI or bust in Spring Split and then go to Worlds in Summer is, sure. is the run, right? Yeah. That's, that's the road for the team. So, you know, I can give teams a longer shot here. Yeah, and you top six teams make playoffs like it's literally just first week this isn't a condemnation of clg as a whole it's no of course not it, it is clear from watching them right here that they, they are out of sorts and flyquest uh, a big surprise early on Ooh. in week one with how coordinated they've looked with a silver crown but it's very very hey, and i don't know if this like gain. weird lack of coordination is a result of crown kind of just getting here anyway pretty late in this mid lane to get ready for the next play. What? 15 seconds on Elder Dragon. I have seen but games turn on Elder Dragon steel. Things now, just feel really, really, really off. Zoe, Real uncoordinated. But Elder Dragon is full power no vision control. Of your Drake count. CLG would have as much buff as Flyquest would have here. Yeah, very scalable buff. You can see Viper also clearing that no side. No vision whatsoever. You don't want to see a late TP, that's for sure, as they're getting the Elder Drake down pretty low. Where's it going to come in? Comes everybody. Here comes okay. the TP. Here comes the play. Ruin finds POE for a duel. Knocks over the pick. Gets him right back in there. Here comes the dive. And the fight has begun. Ruin forces okay. flashlight, but he is stuck inside the pit. And Santori <coughs> takes him down. Wiggly knocks up. Pops the stop button. Stick to We're just. We don't do any damage. For number three. That's going to be a kill. No problem on a smoothie. Now the last two are running away. Six eight trying. Sun is terrible for team fighting. Three for zero. Like, Let's get that team fight. No problem. The bot lane I don't know why we're prioritizing well. Senna if we're gonna just do already. nothing but team Let's fight. Senna is not a good team fighting champion. Right now as well. And how do you 
defend a 2v5 and you're down 10,000 gold? The answer is you don't. Crown is gonna wow, that was just pathetic. As the turret falls, the next gonna drop as well. We look like and the worst team in the league, we'll and it's not even close. Clean game from FlyQuest right here, taking down COG in 31 minutes and smiles no all around. No vision control, no coordination. No. If we're gonna just team fight and hard engage like that, so get rid of the Senna. Senna does not work with what we're trying to do. Looking really good all good, together. Like Everyone's putting an AD in carry that then Torin does really up where he left off as a hugely something impactful dunk. else. Right. Senna's like good for sieging, very but we're just team fighting. To find ways Grab yourself to a Sivir if you're going to do that level constantly level because, because you can run that, forward, very do all sorts of shit with Sivir, but I don't like the Senna with how we're playing. And then a bonus first blood because Wiggly ended up jumping in afterwards, but from there on having well, the follow up that's just and the feels bad vision before Ignar feels and like Torn to just we don't have it, it feels like we're just solo queue players playing together and not even terribly well you're gonna have to watch well play by the squad we'll see him again